Hi everyone, it's DL, so I'm just here to share a quick video with you. Um, I hosted um, a tag swap over at myscraproom.ning.com and it was an all things Tim Holtz tag. So I just wanted to share the tags with you that the ladies made. So this is my tag, and I'm doing this one handed. Um, so I used the Tim Holtz tag die. Um, to cut it out, and then I also used the um, Craft Resist um, Paper Staff by Tim Holtz. So I put that on there, and then just distressed it, and also used the Tim Holtz, um, I guess it's from Ranger, the spray. I forget what it's called, but if I think about it, I'll put it down there. Um, so then I also used his uh, dress form. So I put that on there, and then I took some... Um, canvas, sticky back canvas, cut um, the top of the dress form out and then I colored it with the um, distress stains, the red, I think it's the red brick it was, and then I put some lace over it and a little bit of flour and I got a little hada um, pin up there and then some tulle as well and then I used his adage tickets, I used the dream with the memo pin and then I made a flower out of um, old book pages and I stuck his one of his buttons in there and then I just put some trim on there so and then you also had on the back you're supposed to say what you had used kind of thing what you had did so I basically just cut out another tag and then wrote everything down my name my YouTube um, where the scrap was and then just things that I had used, like the tag die, the paper stack, the craft resist, the sewing die, the um, tattered florals die. I also used the Tim H. buttons, the adage tickets, the memo pins, and the distress stains. So, yeah, so that was mine. So I'll be sending those out to the ladies. Um, this is Dawn Buffman's. Uh, so this is hers. She's got a pretty little butterfly up there, and it looks like she embossed the back. So, and then she's got a stamp that says, What the cater caterpillar calls the end of the world, the master calls a butterfly. And I'm not really sure. Richard Bach, I think, is the thing. So, that's her. She's got the little memo pin. And then she's also got, I think it's from the um, hanging sign there, or the findings. I think it is, and then the butterfly with the little arm on it. So then on the back, she's got her name, all things Tim Swap. The products she used are um, distressing, vintage photo, aged mahogany, brush cordial, and tumble glass. The paper stash, craft resist, 12 by 12 grunge board, swirl element, swirl slash element, and metal game spinners, brads, and memo pins. So that's everything that Dawn used. And there's her tag. She's got some fibers up there. It's so pretty. I know the lighting kind of sucks, so I'm sorry. I'll just kind of take a pick. And then she's a little stamp down there, too. Really cool. So that's Dawn's. And then this is Jen M's. And she's got like the tattered floral the tag. She's got little swirlies and little bling, some flat black pearls and trim on the bottom. And then she's got some seam binding up top. And unfortunately, she didn't tell us what she used, so I don't really know. But maybe she'll put it down below if she leaves a comment. But it certainly is really pretty, like this stamp, a little butterfly up there and the flowers. So that's Jen's. And then this is Debbie Wrights's. And hers is so cute. She did a Halloween theme. So she made a little box. She's got a little pumpkin and, and you can see the ghost down there and up there along the trim. So we take it out. And then this is Debbie's tag. So she's got some seam bindings up there, and then she's got little spider webs, and then there's a little charm on there, and it's got like um, 
got like a skeleton head, some beads, some more little skeleton heads I think they are, and then the spider, and then she's got the spooky paper on the back, and the Happy Halloween, the Adara our ticket, and then this crazy flower that she made, it's so awesome. I love it. And then she's got like a spooky picture that she used with wire, and some trim. See the trim there. So then, then on the back she also used the um, oh the texture fades. I'm not sure which one it is, but instead of writing it on the back, she had put it cut out this little piece here of Halloween paper. You can see the pumpkins and the swirls. It's kind of glittery too. I don't know if the camera is picking that up. But then she used a seasonal paper stack, all distressed edges, ticket dye, Halloween stamp, embossing folder, collage set. So that's everything that Debbie used. Um, her YouTube name is Mom's YDR. Mom's EDR, I guess it is. So that's Debbie's. And I think I'm not sure what Jen's YouTube name is, but once I figure it out, I'll put it down below. And then Dawn's, I'm not sure either, but I will put it down below. And then my YouTube is DLee01. So thanks for watching, everyone. Oh, before I go, um, I also got some goodies, so I'll just quickly go through these. Um, these are from Jen. She sent me a bunch of goodies, so she sent me some... Some flat, big flat back pearls, little bird cage. I think it's from um, Kaiser or Kaiser Craft. And then she's got like a blossom in there, and then some trim. And it's really cool trim. I'm one-handed, so I don't think I can get it out of the bag. I'm sorry. And then Debbie sent me a bunch of goodies too, so it's easier to get out. So Debbie sent me these flowers, they're so cute. And then a little bouquet of these flowers. They look like cherry blossoms. Um, some trim. Which is really cool, like it's really hard, I like it, it's bendable. And then some more trim. And that's what this looks like. That's so cute. I love it. And a little notepad. Looks like that. It's so adorable. And some petal pebbles. So they're like pressed flowers inside the pebbles. They're really cool. So thank you so much, Debbie and Jen, for all the little goodies. And girls, thanks so much for joining my swap. Um, it was a blast. I had so much fun making this. You can see the flowers that Jen sent me too. But thanks ladies. Thanks everyone for watching.